As an athletic trainer, when dealing with blood, you must take universal precautions. As you can see, Marianne and Sierra are wearing their gloves, which is the first and most important universal precaution as an AT. Other universal precautions include hand washing, face mask, disposing of contaminated items in biohazard bin, and soiled laundry being washed in hot water with no other loads. After the ATCs control the bleeding, one will take the injured athlete to the athletic training room and the other will begin cleaning the blood found on the court. To do so, the athletic trainer uses whizzer or any other type of disinfectant. They use one towel to clean the disinfectant off of the court and a second towel to do the drying. Be sure the area is sanitized and dry before proceeding with the athletic event. When an athlete gets another's blood on their skin, proper steps should be taken to prevent the spread of bloodborne pathogens. When blood is present, it should be sent for testing and the athlete should have a follow-up appointment to be sure that nothing is wrong. The most common bloodborne pathogens include HIV or human immunodeficiency virus, hepatitis B, and hepatitis C. Any laundry should be set aside and washed separately in hot water. This is to ensure that there will be no further contamination of other laundry items. When all steps have been completed and athlete has been treated properly, gloves should be removed. To do so, you gather all the materials in one hand, fold the glove inside and over the materials. This is repeated for the other hand. Any contaminated items are disposed of in a biohazard bin. After the athletic trainer disposes of gloves and biohazardous material, the ATC should wash their hands with warm water and soap for about one minute vigorously. This is to ensure that there is no possible spread of bloodborne pathogens.